in case you haven't noticed, it's Halloween. And what comes to mind when you think of Halloween? Witches, black cats, and of course, snails. So I set out to turn Old School RuneScape's deadliest plugin into Old School RuneScape's spookiest plugin. Meet Snail Man Mode, Horror Edition. Horror mode adds a few fun features to the plugin, especially when played with reduced render distance in the GPU plugin. Kinda like that Jimmy video, but different because I have a snail. First of all, the snail won't appear on screen until it's close to you, and a very spooky noise will play just before. Since not being able to see the snail is so scary, when it gets close, you will be too stunned to teleport away for 10 seconds. And to make matters worse, this whole episode, I will be playing as the scariest thing known to man. A U-I-M. No bank, and as always, if it touches me, I drop everything in my inventory. Let's get into it. We have two objectives this episode. Number one, finish an easy clue. Because I want to. That's the only reason, I just feel like it. And number two is spend the time I'm running away from this snail doing whatever quests I can think of. The fog? Doesn't look great when it's all brown, and also thieving from ham members doesn't feel great when you're like 25 thieving. <laughs> Dude, I keep getting. <gasps> go, 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 go! Oh my god! The ham members just saved me! The ham members just saved me from the snail! I was cornered and I couldn't move! Oh my god, the ham members kicking me out literally just saved my life. Well, it's time to figure out something to do while I wait for the snail to track me down over here. And I guess it's time to do waterfall quest. I'm honestly surprised I haven't done it yet, but I have 25 hit points. I'm not going to risk the hardcore here. Quick pit stop to do the barbarian assault tutorial because I need as many minigame teleports and just teleports in general as I can get. This will basically just be another option for me to get away or to lure the snail, which is going to be happening a lot. I think the worst part about walking around like this is that I can't click in the- <gasps> Go, 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 run, 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 Oh my god. I have no idea where it is. I have no idea. <gasps> go, 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 go. <gasps> Did it not touch me? I want to throw up. <laughs> Well, that was a massive success. I made no progress on Waterfall Quest. I didn't even start Waterfall Quest. And now I'm back at the ham hideout. I have a feeling this is going to be happening quite a lot in this episode. Hopefully I just get an easy clue quick, though. It's not going well so far. Well, that's 104 ham members. Really, it's about 80 because I had 24 on a different account. No easy clue to speak of. Oh, come on, not now, man. I have nowhere to run. I'm literally stuck in this corner. Let me see if I can grab one thing before I go. No, all right, leave, leave, leave. <laughs> that was stupid. That was stupid to try and get that pickpocket in before I teleported. The shout out to Monty Sucks for the call out on the snail, by the way. It's, it's very useful to know. <laughs> Guys, make sure you PM me and shout out where the snail is. Keep me alive, we can do this together. The first actual progress made all video, we finally started Waterfall Quest, man. This took so long. <laughs> Am I even gonna be able to click this rock from here with the fog? I am good. Oh, but I forgot to talk to the kid! Oh my god, I literally... <laughs> I don't think I could see him with the fog. Yeah, I could totally see him with the fog. I'm just an idiot. So here's a little snail man tip for all of you. It's important to have a bunch of plates spinning at once. So you always have something to do when you're running from the snail. I'm going to start fight arena right now because it's in the area of waterfall quest. Plus, it's easy to do when I do a already monastery telly. I should probably start Trinome village too. <sighs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, go, 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 go. I think I can actually still do this part of the quest as long as I run through the maze. If I run through the maze, I'll gain enough distance from it and I can still do this part of the quest. This might be stupid, but I actually think this is gonna work out for me. I don't know if I can properly put into words how much scarier it is not being able to see where the snail is. Like usually I would just zoom out and be able to see it, but it could be right behind me for all I know. Like I'm I'm 
extremely terrified. All right, I got the pebble. I'm going back to the ham hideout now. I think I got a lot of distance from the snail by making it go into the maze. So hopefully we can get our easy clue now. <gasps> yes! Oh my God, finally! Oh, that's so good. That is so good to get. That didn't take too long down here either. So, and that's an easy step as well. I think I'm going to chill here for a little bit. Uh, let the snail get a bit closer to me and then we'll go to Artie. I'm just going to kill some time by pickpocketing and see if I can get any other goodies. I guess not. Nope, I guess, uh, I guess I'm not getting any other goodies. So, you know, what can you do? Step one completed. Step two... Iron plate body studded chaps. No, you need 20 range for those. Come on, man. Oh, that's brutal. So while I wait to figure out how exactly I'm going to pull off 20 range, it's time to continue waterfall quest and do the part that if anything's going to get me killed, it's it's this. This could get me killed. Step one, get tagged by a zombie. Easy peasy. All right, now we're going to run through. Go get the Glarial's amulet. Okay, get hit by a moss giant. That's fine. We'll say spot the moss. Okay, get hit by the moss giant again. Oopsie daisy. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, now we wait for a skeleton to hopefully hit me for a four. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Uh, for another four. Thank you so much. Oh god, this is going really badly. Okay, now okay, get hit by the moss giant again. Good, 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 good. This is all going to plan. All right, I think we just have to send it. We just have to send it. We just have to go. All right, skeleton. Thank you so much. Take the ashes. Oh god, get hit by a moss giant again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god. Uh, that did not that did not go well. The next part of our journey will take us into the wilderness because I can't figure out a way to get back to Varrock without my chronicle and this is how I'm doing it. I'm running from Ferox. Oh, I'm going to Ferox because I need runes, by the way. Did I say that I need runes? I need runes. Well, I have runes, but I have no money. <laughs> it's time to finish Waterfall, and I got to respect my guy for being attacked by zombie skeleton mages and prayer draining spiders, and he's just like, hmm, nothing like a good cup of tea. Hmm, yes. Oh, my impending death. <laughs> oh, this tea is delicious. The nice thing about doing a lot of quests is A, you bounce around a lot, and B, there's a lot of instances, like this instance, where the snail can't get in there and get me, which can give me some breathing room. There's waterfall quest completed, all the XP in the world. It always feels good, no matter what, on any account, it always feels good to get these XP drops from waterfall. Moving back to the easy clue, I need 20 range for the studded chaps, and there's a few ideas I have for that. Wait, before, do I need 20 defense to wear the... What? What? Wait, what the f- How is it in here? What the hell? This is an instance! Oh no, I think I cheated. Oh, I didn't know- I thought that was an instance! I didn't think the snail could get there! Oh, that guy who keeps commenting, you made this plugin, how do you not know what it can do, is gonna roast me so hard this episode. But how did it get in there? And also, I definitely cheated, man. I definitely cheated. Oh, no. Let's go to the tape. As you can see here, my teleport timer is still clearly on the screen. And with two seconds left, I right-click teleport away. Now, I hadn't thought of a punishment for this. I just kind of thought I wouldn't violate this rule. I thought it was better than that, but apparently I'm not. So it's time to improvise. I think what I'm going to do is drop my five most valuable items. That means my fire staff, these diamonds, this amulet of accuracy, which goes for a surprising amount, and uh, probably a mithril seed or two. Uh, something that will set me back but won't suicide this progress I've made so far. Because again, I do think I would have gotten away. But if you're angry about it, leave a comment. I understand. I, I'll, I'll hear you out. We can, we can have group therapy in the comments. So I just sold the rest of the mithril seeds and... Now I have one last one to get rid of as punishment. And it's a beautiful flower patch that I'm going to leave here for the citizens of West Artie. You can thank me later. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so humble. It's time to get back to the task at hand, which is this easy clue. And for that, I'm going to need 20 range. So to get 20 range, I'm going to do Lost Tribe and Death to the Dorgashun. It's going to get me pretty close. And honestly, I need to do quests anyway. So it's a good compromise. And it's a good news, bad news situation since... 
unfortunately I have to trade agility, but the good news is the snail is pretty bad at agility. It can't actually find me on agility courses, which you could call a bug, but I call it a strategic advantage. So we're going to be training our agility mostly in peace. Oh god! Are you serious? Was I wrong about this too? Can it actually go on the Draenor agility course? If I don't think it can. I think it might just be close to the course, but just in case I should probably I should probably finish this lap and teleport out immediately. Well, this is as good a time as ever to go finish Fight Arena, I guess. Or really start Fight Arena. I've hardly done any of it. We here already? What the hell? That's so fast! I I I've been here for like Three minutes? That's insane! I also don't know if it- That was actually really risky. I have no idea if it's coming from up north or to the west if it came from like Castle Wars with the Ferox Telly. That, that was like actually kind of- That could have been really bad. I think I, I think I was right that I was walking right into it. But oh my god, that was so close. I know what you're thinking. How am I back at Fight Arena already? And the truth is, I waited for about 20 minutes for the snail to get close to me again. Very far away. That's the beauty you don't see, guys. That's the movie magic. You don't get to watch me. Just wait. Just literally stand and wait, AFK, waiting for a creepy little noise so that I can hide from the snail. Now, where the hell is this ogre? <laughs> wait, seriously, where's the ogre? I can't, I can't see it. These cutscenes... It really lose something with the fog, but I'm also pretty sure that's not where it's supposed to be pointing. <laughs> I think I think that may have been a bug. That's fight arena completed. And it turns out I'm like halfway done with Trino Village, so I might as well finish that. Wait, did he just say they slaughtered his wife? Oh my god. I thought this was a kid's game. There's the Khazard Warlord, and what is that timing, man? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was it for me, man. That was either perfect or awful timing, but that- either way, that was actually hilarious. <laughs> Trinome Village completed, we get our new best in slot amulet, so that's good news. Plenty agility, and we only need 23, so we're getting pretty close to death of the Dorgashan. But joke's on you, because I got 25 agility. That's right, baby, we're doing Tree Gnome Vill- No, wait, what's it called? That's right, baby, we're doing Grand Tree, in addition to death of the Dorgashan. You didn't see that coming, did you? The plan here is pretty simple. Do as much of the Lost Tribe and Death of Dorgashan as I can until the snail arrives and then go do Grand Tree near Artie. I won't be showing much of the Grand Tree because I just did it over on my other series, Unchunk Man. Check that out, playlist right now. So if it looks like I'm just staying in Lumbridge for an extended period of time, an extended period of time. <laughs> If it looks like I'm staying in Lumbridge for a really long time, I'm probably moving around a lot and just not showing it because it's not that entertaining. Psst. I'm also gonna do the monk's friend. Don't tell the snail. Oh, but which one of you told the snail? Come on, this is not fair. How could you? Wait, why am I pathing this way? Oh, I'm out of energy. Oh, God, that was so much closer than it should have been. Holy cow. And here's the last cutscene for Lost Tribe, and it's a lot more intimidating with all the fog in the cutscene. I mean, oh my god, it looks so spooky. Also, I am dressed head to toe in ham robes for the duration of this quest, so, uh, you know, maybe the Duke shouldn't be trusting me so much. <laughs> oh god, I look ridiculous. Oh god, I'm literally stuck in here! <laughs> Dude, what is going on? <gasps> The timing this episode with the snail showing up has been unreal. And I'm just not smart enough to set it up this way. I'm just getting so lucky slash unlucky. This is so funny. But at least this gave me a chance to finish Monk's Friend. So there you go. Monk's Friend completed. Back to my old stomping grounds, the ham hideout. But I'm pretty sure this time this is actually an instance. So I don't think the snail can corner me here. If it does, I will literally 
just throw up everywhere. I think this part of the quest was meant to be played with fog on because it's so much more haunting when she's just shooting from the abyss. This quest is chock full of instances, but that's not what I'm worried about right now. I'm not worried about the snail. I just realized I don't have overheads and I'm not sure if you can save spot in this quest. So I'm gonna try hiding behind that. That worked great, thank you so much. Okay, turns out this guard is gonna be a homie and just body block his friends. Maybe he thinks I'm a ham member because I did this whole quest as a ham member too. Well, this was so much easier than I thought. I don't know what I was worried about. Let's go finish this quest and get 20 ranged. Did I say 20 ranged? I meant 13 ranged. That's disappointing. I thought it was gonna be more, honestly. <laughs> I guess it's time to spend the rest of my money on iron arrows because I gotta get this range level somehow. Oh god, oh my god, no, 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 it's probably coming that way. Oh god. Dude, I've only gained one level. How am I already getting caught? Where's the door? I probably can't open the door. I have to just run. I have to just run. No, 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 no. How in the world am I not dead? Explain that to me. <laughs> Explain to me how I'm not dead. It took a lot of bouncing around between cow pens and another trip to the arrow store, but there's 20 ranged. It feels so good. I have like almost no money left, so hopefully the studded chaps are cheap. Fuck. Fuck. So I got this beginner clue from cows when I was training my range earlier, and I figured maybe we get some items to make some money here. Ideally, we get like uh, steel items or a fire staff and also not a Charlie the Tramp step. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It's just insane. 10 fishing, herring, money. Ugh. I don't know if this was a good idea, but I sold a lot of the law runes to West Artie just to make some money to afford the gear I need to do this clue. Step two, finally completed. What do we have for step three? Oh, that's nice and easy. It's super close. Can we snag a casket and get out of here? It's so beautiful. Let's open it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Come on, easy casket, don't let me down. Give me something good. An easy clue unique would be fantastic, please? Oh! It's just purple sweets and a gun. Dude, I saw the collection log pop up. I got so excited. Get out of here, tedious. Oh. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Hey, if you like this video, you should check out my other RuneLight plugin where I added prop hunt into RuneScape, and it gets pretty chaotic. <laughs> Or we could just sit here. How are you doing? What do you what did you have for lunch? Can do you have any leftover? I want a bite. Get, let me have it. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. All right. See you later. You stay here. I'm gonna go. You sit right. I'm gonna leave. You sit right there. I love you. <laughs>